Hello family, this is Casey Robinson. I'm here to talk about this book I'm reading. Rodney's Thread Workbook of Goddess Magic by Shakina Mountainwater. And a response uh, to her question about what is a witch. Um, I've been called a witch and I never really thought too much about it or made a definition for myself, so here we go. A witch puts intention into every object and action, so everyday activities become ritual. She carries her charms, divination tools, natural healing tools, and love of energy flow through every moment. Women continued the ancient traditions of the old religions with a thousand small ceremonies in their daily lives. They were leaders, counselors, visionaries, and healers. In Europe, their villages knew them as wise women. Christian church and state branded them witches and condemned them as worshippers of the devil. Pale interest activities and people fall away the more she raises her inner light. Other light beings become attracted to her. A witch has a powerful womb capable of bringing the next messiah into the world, be it child or art. And that is why she is persecuted by the current power. A witch is a threat to fast food, pharmaceutical drugs, certain religious and government overlords, nine to fives, and a lot of things that would be considered synthetic or or unwarm. <clears throat> Since she is a threat to these things, she must practice in relative silence, lest she be destroyed. A witch is strong and mysterious. She bounces back from pains, bleeding every month, not afraid to take what she needs as a whole person, uh, to try to take what she needs with fears, anxieties, insecurities, jealousies, or in a passive-aggressive nature, sometimes, uh, you know, that, that's not what I mean. What I mean is she learns to uh, say no when she needs to say no, and to heal herself and those around her. A witch's magic itself turning the wheels of the world, but taking none of the credit. Um, I believe there are many entities creating the world as there are thoughts and dreams. They are male, female, and neither. They exist both within us and without. The only way to learn about them is to develop a personal relationship with them. <clears throat> Now, I could go on about that in, in another post, um, but I'd like to say, in my witch self, I have the dark made inside and the light made inside. My dark made inside is more out in the public sphere, where I have trouble connecting to other women, because um, a lot of them I find to be uh, sort of underdeveloped in their strength with no, with locks up so that I can't really, um, a lot of times I have a hard time connecting. Um, I'm a bit more serious out uh, in the public sphere, but in my house it is where the light maiden uh, comes and it is where my efforts sparkle and everyone's invited and I'm very uh, social with everyone, and yeah, yeah, I mean, 
I've been thinking about it and adding to this more. Um, I can't wait to get this other book called Queen Afwa's. Oh, it's it's by Queen Afwa. It's called Sacred Woman. She also has one called Heal Thyself. And uh, it should be in the mail coming on Saturday. I've been interested in the divine feminine side of the spirituality lately. I'm uh, sort of going back to it after a long time of doing other things, um, other kinds of magic working. So if you have your own definition of what a witch is, then, or who you feel like you are as a woman and how you feel <coughs> in your day-to-day -day life, just let me know. Thanks. Their history, once lost, is being reclaimed by a new generation of women.